Hello and welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. My name is Lyman Holton. In this lesson we're going to talk about American English pronunciation. Are you ready? Let's begin. Consonant blends. Consonant blends. This time we're going to look at the consonant blends PR, SK, SL, SM, and SN. Remember, consonant blends are two consonants that come together blending their sounds. Now, knowing this helps you to be able to sound out words, to sound them out when you're reading so you know what the word is, to be able to pronounce them when you're speaking. You want to pronounce your words correctly, right? Okay, here we go. PR. P, P, P is P, R, R, R. Blended together, they sound like pr, pr, eyes, prize. Now, the E makes the I sound long in this word, prize. A prize. Perhaps you enter a contest, you're the winner. You're the fastest runner, you bake the best pie, something, and you get a prize. And the prize might be a gift certificate, maybe a big trophy, but a prize. They call it a prize. Not a surprise. You may be surprised that you won, but you get a prize is the gift. Okay. P-R pra un. Un. Now in the last video, we talked about the word plum, a fruit. And when that fruit is uh, dried out, is called a prune, a prune. Now also, people prune bushes. They, they will take some large branch cutters and cut off branches on the, the bush and they'll say they are pruning the bush. Please prune the bushes, prune. You, you, prune. It's not like a ooh sound. P-R, pr, eddy, eddy, or itty, itty, sounds like pretty. Someone who looks good. Maybe they're not quite, it's like this happy, glad, and sad. Well, we've got beautiful, pretty, good looking, nice looking, you know, and so on. So, but pretty, she's a pretty girl. That's a very nice compliment. Or maybe the countryside looks so pretty on a sunny day. S K S S S S S K K K K S K S K S K Unk Unk Skunk An animal about so big, so long, about the size of a house cat. It's there are different kinds, but usually people think of they're they're black with a white stripe and a big bushy tail, white stripe down the center of their back, and they stink. They can spray a terrible smell. That's a skunk. Ski. S-K. Ska, ska. Now this I, wouldn't you think an I would sound like an I? No. Not here. It sounds like E. Ska, E. Ski. So to go in the winter time, you go up into the mountains and you ski down the mountain slope, right? S-K. Ska. I-L-L -L is ill. Ill. If this were H, it'd be hill. If we took off the S, it'd be k -k kill. But this is skill. Perhaps you have great skill when it comes to skiing. Skill. Something that you can do. That's a skill. Alright. S L. S L A I D I D. Long I sound because of the E. Take off the E. Slid. Now, slid happens to be the past tense of slide. Hmm, how do you like that? Now, when you were a kid, did you ever go on a snow-covered hill and slide down the hill? It's not skiing, it's sliding. Sliding, or people will call it sledding also. But when you go sledding on a sled, what you're doing is you're actually sliding down the hill. Many kids would use a big piece of cardboard, flatten it out, 
and slide down the hill. I D E I D slide. Now he slid down the hill. Slid. Take off the E. Be in the past. S L sla sla E E E E P P P P Eep Eep Sleep. Do you know what sleep is? It's probably what you do about eight hours each night, hopefully. Sleep. You close your eyes and go to sleep. Now, S L sla op slope. If if we took off the E, we'd have slop. Right? Slop. Like something you throw the pigs to eat. Old old food from your house, right? The old food you throw it to the pigs. It's called slop. <laughs> That's slop. But here we have slope. Slope. A uh, slope could be what we call the hillside. You go down when you're sliding down the hill or sledding down the hill. The hill the it's at a slope, an angle going down. Slope. S M S M O O K O K O the E makes it sound loud or uh, sound long. Otherwise, it sounds like smock, right? Which here that wouldn't be a correctly spelled spelled word. There is a word smock, but it wouldn't be this one. Okay, I don't think it is. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe you should look that up in your dictionary. But I think smock would be S M O C K. I'm not sure. It just came to me. Hmm. S M O K E is smoke though. And smoke, sm oak k k, k sound k, smoke. Okay, we say a person smokes if they have cigarettes, cigars, a pipe. They're smoking. They like to smoke. There's a fire and smoke is coming up from the fire. Smoke. S M sm sm E L sounds like L. E and L sound like L. Now, L smell, smell. Perhaps smell. You can smell something. It is smoke. Is it smoke that you smell? When you come home and someone is cooking in the kitchen or you cook something, Oh, the smell of fried chicken. Oh, the smell of baked bread. Ah, oh, smell. Or perhaps you sit beside someone on the bus who doesn't have good hygiene. They don't wash much and they ugh, smell bad. S M sma aisle aisle E makes the I sound long in this word. I L U L smile. Okay. Smile, you have a smile. The opposite of a smile would be a frown. You're not happy, you are happy. Or at least you look happy when you smile. Flash those pearly whites. S N S N N S N S N S N Can you hear the S and the N blending together? S N A Ache, take off the E, snack, snack. Now, snack is spelled like we talked about smock, what that would be, with put in a C, uh, O C K, smock. Well, here you'd have a C K with no E, would be a snack, right? Perhaps you enjoy eating uh, some cookies as a snack in the afternoon. You shouldn't. You should probably have. A prune. Yeah, that'd be healthier. Okay, so here we have snake, the long A. And what's a snake? It's a reptile. Long, has a tongue shooting out of it. No arms, no legs. It slithers around. Most people don't like it much. S N S N A E K E A in this word E A together sounds like E. Right? Sn, e, k, k, the K sound. Sneak. What is a sneak? Well, maybe someone told you, hey, no more cookies for a snack for you. Stay out of that cookie jar. But you 
come into the kitchen and you quietly take a cookie. You're sneaking in and you you snuck a cookie. You're a sneaky person. You you took the cookie. You were sneaking in. Sneak. S N or snore. E is making that O sound long. Snore. Snore. Now really, I think if we took the E off there, that word would still sound like snore, right? But we have that long O and there's an E there. So, anyways, do you know what snore is? Well, we talked about sleep. Many people, when they sleep, they make this sound when they're sleeping. <laughs> Some people, it's very loud. That's called a snore. You are snoring. They say you're snoring. Snore. Right? Please don't snore. Oh, I hope I don't snore. I do. Okay, that ends this lesson. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.